friends and welcome to this short video that is uh, about Bodhi Day. So I'm going to be telling you a little bit about that just for a short while. So what is Bodhi Day? Bodhi Day is a celebration for Buddhists and non-Buddhists, for anyone and everyone around the world to come together and to celebrate something known as the enlightenment of the Buddha, the historical Buddha, who lived two and a half thousand years ago. So, prior to him being known as the Buddha, he was known as Siddhartha Gautama. That was uh, the name that his parents gave to him. And uh, he lived in Nepal, in ancient India, which is northern India, at the top of India. And one day, he was very wealthy, very luxurious prince, uh, sh he lived a sheltered life, which means that he didn't see much of the outside world, but one day he decided to leave the palace of his father's kingdom. And when he left the palace, he, uh, he experienced things that he hadn't really experienced before. He saw the four sights, and the first one was um, someone who was ill, a, a, a sick person. And the second sight was an old person, someone who had aged. And the third sight was a dead person. He'd never fully seen a, a, a dead body before, someone who had left this world, left their body in a sense. And in the fourth sight, he's seen a holy person, a monk or a nun, uh, meditating deeply. And this affected him a great deal. He, he worried a lot about it and he, it really affected him deeply. And he decided to leave his palace for good and to live a, a spiritual life. And it took him six years at the age of 29, up until 35, he uh, tried different things. And um, eventually he sat under what is now known as the Bodhi tree. Now Bodhi means enlightenment. So he sat under the Bodhi tree and uh, he attained to this thing known as enlightenment. Now what is enlightenment? So it's very hard to explain, but perhaps we could think of the kind of person that Buddha was. He was loving, he was peaceful, he was kind and calm. He didn't get angry or react. He didn't abuse people. He was kind and a loving person and very, very peaceful. So that's perhaps what enlightenment means. It also means that he was aware. He was very aware of himself. He was aware of other people and other animals. He was aware of the environment that he lived in. So it's, it could also be thought of as a very, very deep state of being aware all the time, all the time. So once he attained enlightenment, he became known as the Buddha and he began teaching uh, something called the Dharma, which is known as the truth or cosmic law or the way things are. And he taught people how to look at the world with um, a realistic way of seeing things, the way things really are. Um, and to acknowledge suffering as well. So people celebrate Bodhi Day in many different ways. Some people celebrate it in January, some people celebrate it in December, other people celebrate it in May. Um, it doesn't really matter uh, when you celebrate it, but more about the way you celebrate it. So some people decorate little trees, they make a Bodhi tree by putting uh, you know, uh, little decorations in it, they light candles, uh, they might do chanting of scriptures, uh, but the the, the most important one for, for me is that uh, we practice meditation uh, because to attain to a state of Bodhi, enlightenment or deep awareness, one has to meditate. And so this is what people usually do when they celebrate Bodhi Day is they uh, practice lots of meditation. Now I'm not suggesting that we all do that uh, for a long period of time, but maybe we could just have five minutes together, me and you all watching this video, of practicing what it is to be aware and what it is to meditate. Okay my friend, so we're going to practice a short meditation about five minutes long 
and so just get nice and comfortable make sure that your body is nice and comfortable on the chair or the cushion that you're sitting on closing your eyes so that you can really feel into your body and your mind we're just going to take a journey into the nature of ourselves the nature of our awareness so we're going to sense into our body sense into our mind and this is what it is to meditate this is what it is to be aware so just allow yourself to settle more and more into the present moment into your breath and your body getting nice and comfortable making any necessary adjustments to your body your posture noticing how your body is positioned if you're sitting on a chair you might like to feel your feet placed flat and firmly on the ground feeling your sitting bones connecting to the chair or the cushion closing down the eyes and relaxing your eyes relaxing your face all of the facial muscles the cheeks just relaxing relaxing your shoulders now relaxing your arms relaxing the hands whole body is relaxing and as you relax your body you might notice that you begin to feel more calm perhaps more grounded more relaxed and now just notice your mind is your mind talking to you right now is it saying anything such as what's next or what happened notice if your mind is chattering to you this is the way in which many buddhists meditate and non-buddhists they notice what the mind is saying and they observe it they just observing the thoughts if there are any and like clouds passing in the sky you just watch these thoughts come and go and bring more attention and awareness back to your body and your breathing feel the breathing inside your chest and your belly and just have this sense that you're becoming more relaxed grounded and present as you continue to bring awareness to your breath inside the body now breathing is always happening in the present moment so when you focus on your breathing you are now in the present moment and this is how the buddha became buddha he meditated on the breath so notice that you're practicing this meditation with me being more present and just keep coming back to your breath now sensations of your breathing no need to change the breath just watching it just as it is watching the breath come and go inhaling and exhaling naturally no need to change anything or make anything happen just observing the ordinary breath in and out and bring more awareness to your body again now be aware that you're in a room or somewhere else outside or inside just be aware of the environment around you maybe opening the eyes again coming back to the experience of being where you are in space noticing the sounds and the movements around you and know that you've been practicing 
meditation and just noticing what effect that has had on you. How are you feeling now? And this is what it is to experience perhaps at least a moment of Bodhi, enlightenment, awakening and awareness. Thank you all for joining me in this meditation experience and I shall see you again. Namaste.